a couple, we go up a couple, you can't tell the difference. We just have our same approach, we score, play our game, get guys over, get guys in, and just run the offense, you know. But uh, what's the difference with these guys coming in? Because usually, you know, it takes a little bit of while for the veterans to, to, you know, kind of work together with the new guys. How's that transition been? There's some JUCO cats. I love JUCO guys. They've been, <laughs> they've been through the mud, they got it, they, they earned all of it, nothing was given to them. They show up to campus ready to go ready to contribute and they just got a little edge to them, you know, which you, you learn to appreciate with Jacob guys. They, nothing, nothing's given, they are at all. You know? Right. And uh, stepping on campus, we all got along really well. Um, we're one big unit this year. And, you know, we're gonna see that. Well, let's go to Jake now, Jake Lancaster, and uh, heard from, I believe, your grandparents last night on the email saying, oh my God, look at Jake, he's in. And, uh, talk about what this year has been for you out of the bullpen? Um, well, coming into it, uh, you know, big freshman guy, I wasn't expecting to, you know, be here, you know, that often, but, you know, since being here, I've been uh, loving, loving coming out of the pen. I've, I love these guys, you know, they're like my second family. Um, my role at the pen, I, I feel like I fit it well. I feel like I've, someone like V Hill, who I'm uh, trusted out of the pen and uh, respected, uh, I just love that from the guys. What do you learn from a guy like V Hill, the guys that have been here? Um, so from V Hill personally, uh, the guy brings a lot of energy. You know, when he gets on the mound, it's a, it's him. He's zoned in, locked in. Uh, I love bringing that when I'm on the mound as well. Um, he's really shown me a lot. You know, I mean, he's a lefty already. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, he's a great leader towards me. You know, being a freshman, I really look up to him. And, and I'll ask both of this. Both of you, this question, I'll start uh, with Jake. Your mindset when you go into the game, does it sometimes depend on the situation? I mean, obviously going in to start an inning is different when hey, instead of coming in with one out and runners at first and second or second and third. What's your mindset going into the game when you're coming out of the bullpen? Um, so, say there's, I mean, if there's runners on, you know, it's a, it's a mindset of like, you got to do this, you got to get this job done. Uh, you know, it's in a, it's a, my best attempt to not allow those runs to uh, get get across the plate. Uh, but coming into a clean, fresh inning, it's uh, a little less nerve-wracking, I would say. I mean, all the nerves are rushing. You know, the adrenaline is pumping. But um, it's a little, I want to say easier. But I mean, it is coming into a clean, fresh inning with no one on, and you can work, you can do you, instead of um, having to worry about those runners on base. And I don't think, Steven, you come in to a game unless it's been with runners on base. It's like, okay, we got ourselves in a situation. All right, let's go be him. Let's yeah. bring him in. Yeah, I mean, um, Mo talks a lot about control what you can control. You can't control if there's runners on or if you get a clean inning when you come in. Basically, it's just, you know, you're, you're battling the hitter. You're either predator or you're prey. So you just have a job to do. Get guys out um, when you're called to the pen. Um, I trust that for now. Whenever he throws down, I'm throwing with commitment. I'm throwing him with some Each other. We know we're going to have games where we don't score until the 8th. we got to stick together. Right. We all turn on each 
other. We know we can do it. We got games like last night where we you know put up a crooked number in the third and fourth. So you know you don't know what's going to happen, but you do know what you can control and you can go out there and just have an approach, try to get on base and uh, make things happen early. You know, now if the bus is going to break down, you're going to be looking for us. Hey, we walk on with two W's. I have a smile on my face. Jake, same question. Uh, turning a corner last night, uh, you know, or has it been kind of okay? Just kind of get a little consistency going. Um, so I don't know what all these guys have potentially wise. I don't know if they've shown it all this season, but I mean, I feel like there's a lot in the tank left. Um, at the beginning of the season, I feel like we were on a roll. Uh, it kind of fell off a little bit, just a tiny bit, but I feel like we're picking it back up. Uh, I love the. I, I, last night was a huge win for us. You know, coming off of that um, uh, three losses, um, but yeah, I feel like that was a that was a huge one for us. All right, so let's give some shout outs. People that uh, have helped you to where you're where you are at this point. People that have helped you in baseball, and people that have helped you off the field. Oh, I would like to give a shout out to my mom, Shonda, uh, my dad, Roger, uh, especially my brother, Trent, uh, Grandma, Nina, or her real name is Gina. Um, and I would like to give a shout out to my boy here, Steven, for uh, helping me, you know, grow as a grow as a freshman. I feel like I've grown a little bit and matured. So thank you to them. All right. How much, time, how much time you got? Hey, man, wow. dude, it's it's all yours, man. And you're the veteran, so and yeah. he did pretty good as a freshman, didn't he? He sure is. He's a dude. <laughs> He's a dude. Um, you know, first of all, I want to thank both my parents for giving me life and giving me the life that I have. All, all the way up until this point. Uh, my father, Steven Sr., he's on his way today. He'll be in a little bit. My mom, Deidre, is watching from home. Uh, my grandma, Alice, and uh, my boyfriend, Gabriel, from El Paso. I know my grandma is watching in El Paso. Uh, my, my high school coach, Ryan Chose, if he sees this, I, I wouldn't be here without you. You know, I, I still believe in, in everything we talked about. All my friends along the way, all my teammates at my last school, my pitching coach, Marty, from my last school, wouldn't be here without you either. Uh, Mo, C Rod, everyone that's up to this point. I'm going to be here without you. All right, guys. Thank you.